I looked up and Robert had died, so... Does that um, crew have the lost boy? I'm only going to meet my dad after 40 odd years. The call that Wendy Bell has waited three years for. Michael, who's mentally handicapped, had left his brother's care to live with his mother, Wendy. A short time later, he walked out the front door and never came back. Hello? Hello? He's gone. Pat's request for information from Queensland Police provides him with his strongest lead yet on the whereabouts of 33-year-old Michael Bell. I decided to make further checks. This particular case, it was uh, Queensland. They gave us information that someone very similar to Michael was resident in a halfway house in Ipswich, Queensland. So I decided to follow through from there. So we just want to establish if it's the right Michael Bell. Um, what, uh, what date of birth do we, do we have a Michael there? I have the 11th of the 1st, 69. Has he got prominent teeth? Yes. He's in the institution up there. And, and hasn't had the contact, um, hasn't had the contact uh, phone number to speak to mum and sister and the rest of the relatives. We can provide that now, and um, I'm sure they'll they'll get together. So it's it's really good news. I'll speak to them shortly and, and inform them. With Michael's new address in hand, Pat McEwen sets off to meet the Bell family. Michael, who's mentally handicapped, had left his brother's care to live with his mother Wendy. A short time later, he walked out the front door and never came back. This is the news the Bells have been waiting three years for. I ended up making a few more inquiries, you know, inquiries we'd sent away before. Mm -hmm. We sent them away again yesterday. <laughs> We've got some good news for you. Oh. Found him in Queensland. Oh, great. <laughs> <laughs> That's good, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> That's good. I'm I, happy. <laughs> I really actually happy. spoke to him a while ago. Oh, yeah. good. And he's, he's fine. They've, yep, yep. They've got him in an institution up there, but you know, it's, it's just... But yeah, we expected that anyway, didn't we? Yeah, we did. I have to take a photo up there. What do you think? That's him. <laughs> yeah, we thought so too, so... Yeah. 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 So you, that's fairly close. Yeah, yeah. It's, been, uh, it's been a little while, you know, it's been a couple of years. Yeah, it has years, but two and a half, three years, yeah. It doesn't seem to have aged too much. No, no, no. He's still got all his teeth in it. Yes, hello, it's uh, Pat McEwen. Did I speak to you earlier today? Yes, Pat. We're actually um, at Michael's uh, mother's place at the moment. Okay. And they'd uh, like to speak to him if it's... Uh... All right, I'll just have a look and see if he's here. Just a moment. Thank you. Just a moment, I'll just put you on to Roseanne, our manager, just a moment. Hello. Hello. Sorry, you can't speak Pat McEwen from the Missing Persons Unit yeah. in Sydney. Yeah. And I, I want to speak to... Just to Michael. Yeah, just a moment, I'll just put you on to Roseanne. Yeah, the family are here with me at the moment. Uh, he said he doesn't want to have any contact with them. He said that? Yeah, he's told me that over and over again. He doesn't want to have any contact with them. Well, look up and Robert died, so... At the Bell home, the waiting continues. Then the unexpected happens. Hello? This is Mike Caroline. Hi, Michael. Hey, I'm in Queensland. I'm from Queensland. Yeah, I know you are. Yeah. Do you want to talk to Mum? Yes, please. Mum's here. <coughs> Body, are you? Yeah, we missed you. How you been going? You, you good? I've been busy all day. Okay, I'll put mum on. Yeah, on the mobile, my mobile. Oh, you want to talk to mum on your mobile? Yep. Okay. Bye. Okay, bye. Bye. <laughs> it's all right, ring him up on his mobile. <laughs> That's Mick. <laughs> okay, hello? Hello. Let's talk to him. Hello, Michael. Hello, Mick. Hello. I'm going to kill you, little bugger. Where you been? Huh? Where you been, you little bugger? I'm in Queensland. You naughty little boy. I wait till I get hold of you. I'll kick out the bum. Huh? I'm going to go outside. You're right. Come back here. Yeah, no worries. I'm Talk to you. Yeah, what have you been up to? Hello? Hello? He's gone. Hello? Hello, Mick. How are you? We, dro we dropped out. What? We, we, the phone dropped, dropped out. Yeah, no, I'm on charge. How long have you been in Queensland for? Six or six last years. Oh, oh, man, we've been looking Good for you. Can you come and see me what? Yes, we will. Yeah? Yes, we are. We'll yeah. ring you again right, tomorrow. Yeah. We love you. OK, right, we Mick. love you. We love you, Mick. Better go kick in the bum. <laughs> Bye. Bye, Mick. Bye. 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 Bye.
After three years of searching, Wendy Bell and her daughter Caroline have flown to Brisbane to meet Michael. They've decided to meet at Michael's favourite park near his care facilities. What are you going to say to him when you see him? Oh, good day, Michael. What have you been up to, you little bugger? Where have you been all this time? I can turn up now, not 15 years later. <laughs> I'd disown him then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is him. Hey, Mickey! <laughs> Where you been, Mick? <laughs> oh, you're not in boy, you little girl. Oh, nice. How you going? Good. Good to see you, Jeff. Good to see you too. Come and sit out with us. You're looking well? I'm looking well, yeah. Okay, open your presents. I will, so you I'm... can see what I've got in you. Okay. Check it out. Yeah. i just rip that I'll off. I'll, I'll break it all. Yeah, that's it. Have you missed us? I missed you, yeah. You haven't, you haven't seen my kids for a long time? No, I haven't, no. You remember their names? Yeah, I remember their names, yeah. What's their names? I can't remember. <laughs> you, you can't remember. See that? Yep. It's a picture of me and a picture of Mum. Oh, well, I did. They don't forget us? No. Nah. And here, look on the back. Oh, yeah. Your phone number, yeah? Mum's phone number? Is phone number. My oh, phone number? Yeah. So you don't, get, you don't lose us. Mum, get a kiss? I think so. <laughs> Good on you. Love you, Vic. Yeah. Colin has spent his entire adult life searching for his missing dad. He took us out on a day trip and then uh, something happened and then that's the last I've seen him. That is until Constable Pat McEwen tracked him down in a nursing home. We, um, we've located your father. It um, certainly just, was not the happy just, ending Colin you know, had hoped for. He doesn't wish for any family members to know his location. So he made a heartfelt plea to his father. If you're watching this, Dad, um, I, I would like you to meet my wife and children and your, your grandchildren. I just want, want to see you before, before it's too late. And his dad saw it all. Apparently they... I uh, got my dad to watch the program on TV and uh, he had a change of heart after seeing the show. And, uh, finally going to meet my dad after 40 odd years. It's a big moment. It's a missing link in my life. For Colin, who last saw his father as a seven-year-old boy, 40 years of searching comes down to this next moment. Three hours later, Colin Locke returns from his first meeting with his father in 40 years. And his smile that was very good. says it all. I can't, I can't really express what I feel. Um, I, I am extremely, extremely happy. His, his eyes and mine are yeah, exactly the same, like, you know, the facial features. We were talking about you know, the types of food we like, pickles and uh, corned beef. <laughs> Colin's dad refused to appear on camera, but at last he's a part of his son's life. I'm just trying to organise him to meet his uh, grandchildren and uh, great-grandchildren. And my thanks to uh, Pat and the Missing Persons Unit. Couldn't be happier. Show time again, so uh, Mandy and I are going to head out to the show today. The thought might bring a smile to their faces now, but Children's Day at the show can be a nightmare for police. Thank you, have a good day. It's that time of the year again. Ferris wheels, merry-go-rounds and children who disappear before your very eyes. It's Kids' Day at the show. Shaker, we've got a missing And boy. up to 150 children will go missing. Showground 16. Showground 16. Moments after arriving, Mandy and Jane are called to the police stand to help find a missing nine-year-old. And what was he wearing? Hey, got black locks they shut off. Craig Tams was in charge of his little cousin yeah. Robert Blue. until he lost him two hours ago. I looked up and Robert had gone, so... Has he got anything on him, like a phone number, anyone that he, he would contact so no-one's got a mobile? Okay. Are you all going to help us have a look so we can find him? Jane and Mandy decide to split up. Go for a look around that way. To double their chances of finding nine-year-old Robert. Moments later, Mandy is handed a missing boy. What's your name? But it's not Robert. 
What's your name? Can I have a look and see if you got your name, your phone number? Did Mum write your phone number on your arm? You got a phone number? You got a name? You haven't got your phone number. Where's your phone number? Because he's only four, Alfred's mum and dad should have written his phone number somewhere on his body. He lost two. Yeah, copy that. Mandy's now missing two people, one child and a parent. So far, it's turning into another typical day at the show for police. Yeah, Radio, we've come across another little lost boy. Crow's put over a description place. Four years old, his name is Alfred. Then, just as it looks like Alfred will become a guest of the police crèche, his dad turns up. No worries. Showground portable, 20. Sometimes it seems like a thankless job, but for Mandy, okay. it's a labour of love. Where were you last standing with Mum? Just here? Yeah, did he just wander around? Or... It's been three hours and there's still no sign of nine-year-old Robert. No one knows if he's even still in the showgrounds. Does that um, crew have the lost boy? Sheepish-looking Robert has finally turned up. what you look like. Now I know what you look like. He promised me that if you get split up again, you come straight here. We find some police and say, I'm lost. Can you take me to a safe place and we'll come find you? Well, it's nice to meet you finally. Enjoy the rest of the show. The shock of losing Enjoy Robert of is yet to fully hit Craig. You'll, 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 in about half an hour, it'll hit you and you'll feel really, where are they, where are they? But that's normal, that's fine. Everyone gets like that. 